welcome to the third talk titled true friend let us begin in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen today i come with just four points to reflect with you point number 1 spiritual friends my dear do you have friends i am sure you have or at least you think that you have then let me be specific do you have some spiritual friends if you look down on the scroll you will find my request to send these spiritual messages to your selected five friends unfortunately many do not have any spiritual friend if you say that you have i believe so but can you now remember who they are i hope that they are truly your real friends john c collins once said in prosperity our friends know us in adversity we know our friends i repeat in prosperity our friends know us in adversity we know our friends from my recent experience of life and ministry as a bishop i know what john collins said is 100% true by god's grace i am presently enjoying true spiritual friendship with the lots of people they are praying for me spiritual friends pray unconditionally for you i feel so blessed by so many spiritual friends who are inspired by my heavenly father to extend me prayer support because of which i feel strong and that keeps me going and smiling point number 2 making spiritual friendship in the gospel of john 15 15 we find jesus calling his disciples friends he says i quote no longer i call you f- servants because a servant does not know what his master's business is instead i call you friends since i have made known to you everything i learned from my father close quote it means jesus called them friends only because he shared with them his father's message friendship is made through sharing yes that's it by sharing heavenly father's message with the disciples jesus made them his spiritual friends Jesus is showing us the way to make true spiritual friends by sharing spiritual messages we make spiritual friends by sharing gossip videos we make gossip friends messages could be communal political spiritual vulgar erotic artistic etc so by sharing other messages we make other friends the content of the message determines the color and the nature of friendship birds of the same feather flock together so from the messages a person sends you you can guess what type of friendship he or she wants from you so let me repeat by sharing spiritual messages you cultivate spiritual friendship that becomes undoubtedly a source of spiritual strength point number 3 follow jesus model jesus is the model for us now it is your turn to make more friends by following the same example you know i sent spiritual messages almost to 1500 people Jesus prayed for those who heard his preaching. I quote, 
I am not praying for the world, but for those you have given me, for they are yours. John 17, 9. Similarly, I too pray for them, for all those who are listening my talks and then sharing it with others. That's all what I can do for them. My dear friend, we have only one life and therefore let us grow spiritually also. You too can pray for those with whom you share these spiritual messages. Point number four, create mutual support. God is guiding us in slowly creating a network of spiritual fellowship. We all need spiritual protection to be delivered from evil. I quote, your adversary, the devil, prowls about like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. Close quote. First Peter 5, 8. On my part, I am praying and offering all my sufferings for the intentions of my listeners. I pray for you too that our loving Heavenly Father may protect you, your family and your activities from the attacks of Satan, from the attacks of those who are jealous of you, from the competing enemies in your field of activity. The spiritual friendship will be a great, silent, invisible help for you. It is really a God's blessing for you. Therefore, cultivate spiritual friendship for yourself. May God assure you protection through your spiritual friendship. So dear, be at your best, always. Now, bow your head and make the sign of the cross as I am blessing you now and forever in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for listening this talk.